What's up, guys? This is JD. And this is Kenzie. From DOA. Welcome back to episode two of the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Let's get ready to rumble! So today we're doing DOA's Pick 6. This is our top drumline and band videos of all time. So we went through YouTube, we went through all the video sites, and we found our favorite videos of all time. Um, the most influential and iconic drum or band videos uh, that really impacted our culture as drummers, um, and more specifically, marching drummers. So, without further ado, here we go. All right, so this is number six. So this is the Ohio State University Marching Band 2013 halftime performance. They did a special feature of Michael Jackson and they called it Moonwalks from Michael Jackson. It was the first video of a marching band that I watched with my family back in 2013, 2014. And my family has always been inspired by MJ. His legacy really resonated with my entire family and it really got me thinking about what it meant to be in a marching band. What makes this this specific marching band video so special to me is the fact that they had such pinpoint accuracy with their drill formations and the creativity as a whole behind having MJ moonwalk in their performance was just so inspiring to me and I just completely geeked out. And <laughs> And the fact that this video made such a big impact on the community that they felt the need to put it on the news and even reach the Florida news. And this is from Ohio. It got me super excited about Marching Band. It expedited my process of getting involved with Marching Band. And I felt as if they perfectly captured the legacy of that was Michael Jackson. La, 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 la. Sing it. Numero five. Okay, so this one is Glamorous Life Live by Sheila E. at the 1985 American Music Awards. Growing up, I always had the biggest crush on Sheila E. I mean, not only was she beautiful and could sing, but that lady, man, she could play a mean set of timbales. This video literally changed the face of pop music. I mean, we have a Latino female instrumentalist lead with a top charting pop record. Also, this is probably the first time that the general public is exposed to LED drum sticks. You know, the light up sticks that you see everybody using on their drum line. Except in this video, you can tell that it's really old because she's got them plugged in. And the crazy thing about this video is that it really puts instrumentalists back at the forefront of pop music. I mean, we all know bands that have guitarists and keyboards that are in the lead position, but to have a percussionist and to have that done after it had been abandoned for so long to have an instrumentalist in the lead, that was like an amazing event. And it also just showed the world that women could drum too. You know, and I, I would imagine that that's inspiring for young girls everywhere. All right, guys, so we're at it with number four. So this is going to be the Send in the Clowns show from the 2015 WGI Championships from the Cavaliers. <laughs> I came across this my very first year in high school, it was 2015, and the other member from DOA, Bree, came to me in math class and was like, hey, you gotta check out this video, it's the coolest thing on earth. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she showed me this video, and it absolutely just became my favorite 
indoor show that I ever came across. It became the talking point for everyone on Drumline. It was like, we came to practice and they were like, hey, did you see the video? And we were like, yeah, did you see it? They're like, oh, what part did you like? And I was like, oh, well, I like this one. And the part that really got my attention was their tenor feature. I thought that they did a really great job showing what a tenor feature is supposed to look like. It taught the drumline community as a whole what it was like to have good theatrics. And it really showed personally me how the smallest movements can make or break the show. And the fact that you had to dig deeper to really understand what the show was trying to put across really resonated with me. And I love their mask scene. You know, like everybody wears a mask, but underneath it, you don't know what they hold until you take the mask off and you unveil it. So I thought that it was just a great video. And here's number three. This is the fight scene from the movie Drumline. It features the fictitious Atlanta A&T University Drumline versus Clark Atlanta. This movie was released in 2002. When this movie came out, I was a freshman in high school and I had just joined my school drumline. My drumline decided that we were going to go together to watch this as a group at our local theater. It ultimately just left us in awe of how awesome the HBCU college band life was and inspired us all to just go really hard for the next four years in search of music scholarships and careers as musicians. Not only does this video feature a top HBCU drumline, but it also showcases some of the most renowned drum cadences in the HBCU world, like Prelude, the Goolsby intro, anyone who's attended an HBCU knows exactly what I mean. Also, the fight scene just showed to the world how passionate that drummers are about our craft. The biggest thing about this movie was that it brought band to the forefront and to the mainstream. It showed us a slice of HBCU life and quite possibly renewed interest in those specific schools. And it just brought band heads everywhere together. All right, so we're back at it with number two. So this is going to be a Coy High School's 2016 FFCC Championships performance entitled Stand. I stand for children. So my experience with this show was that I was in it. It was my very first year on snare drum, and I just remember the emotional appeal that it had with me. We had to go back and really think about our history, and we drawed up a lot upon the movie Selma, and it really made me think about what it was that I stood for. What made this exact video special to me is the theatrics. It really made me be more comfortable with expressing myself and just using my body language and really just acting and that was really difficult for me and I just remember how long it took to really capture you know that pain that people felt in those times and it really had this larger than life meaning and it really made me look at the world as a whole. It had everyone kind of reference back to civil rights and the civil rights movement and I just remember that that resonated with everyone as a whole especially the audience. I felt as if our message really reached the drum community as well as the people who went through those times. And number one, drum roll please. This is Rhythm X Man in the Arena 2013 WGI finals performance if you haven't seen this video you are really tripping tripping 
Okay, so when I first saw this performance, I was in my third year of designing and teaching indoor shows. I mean, the pacing, the choreography, and the music just really struck me as almost a blueprint of what a near-perfect indoor show looks like. I mean, I even patterned my next two shows after this legendary show, and I particularly learned quite a bit as a designer. The thing that makes this show so special in particular is really the fight scene. The fight scene, you would expect it to be really loud and fast and abrasive, but it's the exact opposite. It's very slow and soft and beautiful with the roses flying everywhere and everything and people dancing. It's really great. And that dichotomy of what we see versus what the music makes us feel is absolutely genius from a design standpoint. I mean, we all know that Rhythm X as a whole has always influenced design for indoor shows everywhere because they've always been a top contender for the championship. But this particular scene really showed designers that you can think outside of the box and still outperform everyone. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on our pick six. We want you guys to let us know what your top six drumline videos are in the comments down below and why you chose them. Also, don't forget to tune in next week for episode three of the main event. Same time, same place, every Friday right here on DOA. Don't forget, let us know down below what your top six is. We'll catch you next week. Peace.